Hey guys, how are you today? So one of the places we went well in Las Vegas was Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I'm going to show you some quick vid video footage here of us actually in the place and shopping and looking around and being completely overwhelmed by the uh, volume of stamps they had on display. Then I am going to um, do a speed through where I'm mounting my stamps. Now I only brought two stamps home on their wooden blocks. The rest of them I either bought unmounted or I unmounted them before I came home. I'm not a big fan of wood mounts. They take a lot of room to store. Um, and I have unmounted a lot of my stamps that I've kept. So I did that even before we left home. I am, some of them are fine. Like this one came off the wooden block. The foam is still on there. It's still pretty sticky. So I can just leave that the way it is. And I'm going to stamp it on some of this card stock and then slip the cardstock into the outer cover of these DVD cases, which is how I'm storing a lot of my stamps now, and we'll review that at the end of the video. All right, for right now, I am going to speed through the mounting process and stamping process, and I will be right back after the, after the uh, video footage of us in the store. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi everybody, we are at Viva Las Vegas Stamps. Check this out. Check it out. Look at Gina and Anne. And there's absolutely incredible. Wall to wall, yummy. Up at the ceiling too. And we get some gorgeous lights to look good. We don't have to go to the Neon Museum after all. Exactly. I don't know where to start. There's so much to look at. I don't know either. All right. Here I'm we not go. Sure what that is, but it looks cool. That looks like Sylvester. It's upside down. Oh. No, that ain't. Let me look at that. It looks like. Oh, didn't I say I didn't want it wood mounts? There's his nose, oh, there's his eyes, there's his mouth, and this is his whiskers. Okay. I'll believe it. <laughs> Brew look parking it. only. All oh, toe. the goodies. Like if you can make it out to Las Vegas, you need to come to the stamp store if you like stamps. Oh. This is awesome. We'll put the links to their website and their address in the description box so you can find them. Look at all these awesome steampunk ones. We're all, we're all very overwhelmed right now looking at all this delicious goodies. We have to figure out what exactly we want. Oh my god! It goes on for miles and Really? Yes. Yes. On and so on my, and our on. <gasps> there's four. Oh, there's Sorry if you're getting one. sick, but there's look, so look, many. Look, Ooh, background stamps. Look for the art cards. Oh, sweet. For Anne's, Anne's Anne's art cards. They have these here. Oh, Order these from them. They're awesome. They're called Art Doll Body Parts. There you go. And they have different sizes, guys. Do they? Yes, they yeah. do. And they have even this. Oh my gosh. Look. Loads and loads and loads of awesome there. sentiments. Right Look at all these fun paper. Leaning Tower Pizza. For anything. Or anything. Well, you yes. can do paper dolls or anything. Yep, for anything. So definitely check them out. Yeah, definitely. Check them out. Yeah, definitely. Check them out. Yeah, definitely. I think awesome. this is where people awesome. can bring some of their stuff in and resell it. Awesome. You can get some good discounts. Bob, Bob says he's back in jail okay. today with a sticky we have, pen. We have our new Ooh, name. pens. Okay, this is All right, so room. we're going to go look around and enjoy ourselves, and we'll so check in with you later yeah. with what we got. Oh, you know what? Bye.
Okay guys, so I have mounted all of my stamps I purchased at Viva Las Vegas Stamps onto Cling Mount. I've placed them into these, these are empty DVD cases and these are a case that are, is made for stamp storage, it doesn't have the round thing in the center. I'll include, include a link for where to get these in the description below. Um, I found out about these from Cindy Utter. Um, and they're, it's a great way to store your stamps. And it ha So I put the stamps inside the case after I mounted them on cling and stamped them on some white cardstock. There's a, sl a sleeve on the outside here to put the, slip the white cardstock in. That way you can see the designs on the stamp. And I am going to use my label maker to put Viva Las Vegas on here. Uh, I don't always do that, but if I have like product packaging that has the company name on it, then I put it on the outside. Um, in this case, I didn't have any of that, so I'm going to put a label here. Um, so I got these four, two big butterflies, this fun background stamp, and then this um, hexagon shape. And then it's only six sides, so yeah. And then I got these. Now, these ones here that are not super sticky... Okay, we'll do it this way. So, Viva Las Vegas Stamps, if you guys can get there, and I, I'll include a link for their website below, which will have their address on it. If you're in the area, I do recommend you stop by. They have a clearance bin, and they have consignment stamps. And so these, all these stamps are from there. And don't you love these stick people? I don't know. Most of the time, these stamps don't have the manufacturer's information on them, or they're long since discontinued. But I love these stick people. They're just fabulous. So these are the ones I picked up that way. And then these are some um, Viva Las Vegas designs. I love this one, Create Art Every Day. And then this one, EGAD, a naked envelope. <laughs> um, embrace your weird. So, yeah. And then here are some more backgrounds. These are Viva Las Vegas designs. Um, this is some script handwriting. It is Sigmund Freud. It's a letter from Freud which is fun. And then this is a uh, like old billing invoice. And it's not in English, so but it's uh, going to be a fun texture or background stamp. And then this has um doll parts in it, which you will see in the um um video that we took while we were there where we are, are all ah doll parts. <laughs> um and although I'm not doing Anne's um playing card dolls, um, at least not yet. I did. I was intrigued by the doll parts, so I did get them. And then I got these two background stamps. These are the two woodblock stamps I wasn't going to unmount, but I'm shooting two stamp videos here at the same time, and I was unmounting the Stamp Boutique stamps and decided, you know what, I really do want to unmount these. I got a little small goddess stamp. stamp this is a Stamp Boutique design, and then this, this fun one. It's a little voodoo doll with <laughs> pins sticking in them. I just couldn't resist. So again, I will put the Viva Las Vegas here on the spine, and um, then I store all of my stamps now. Um, I still store a few in binders, like the ones that are too big for these boxes. Um, I have like the Tim Holtz, the large size blueprint stamps. They don't fit in these. Um, everything else is in these boxes, and they fit into these plastic bins. You can get plastic bins that fit these boxes in a lot of different places. This particular box is from Target. It's $4.99. It's called a uh, quarter bin, and I will, again, post a link in the description below. And look at the Stamp Boutique video that's coming up soon in which I show you actually how to unmount the stamps. And I will talk more about how I'm storing my stamps and everything too. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. And visit Viva Las Vegas Stamps either virtually on their website or in person. Show them some love. Fabulous pay place. Wonderful group of people. We love them whole bunches. I'm going to have to go back the next time I go. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.